good morning all of you a warm welcome from the state utility so i am happy to learn that continuously recurring exercise has been done by mrs eq to promote solar as well as renewable energy efforts in kerala as well so we have been in a program in delhi a couple of months back awarded also and participated in many discussions online as well as offline panel discussions were there so this venture as a suji con in kerala each and every day in the renewable sector new and new orders are coming up the utilities especially discoms have to make certain measures to walk in line with these regulations obligations and all not withstanding anything we are happy to announce that we are reaching almost 700 megawatt capacity which has been added and uh, in the scenario of india we are ranked second in our attempt to make carbon free as well as the initiatives in this sector first is gujarat so in no way time we can see the line there over which we will be walking towards that line and we will be reaching along with gujarat with no time it's not like that we are confident so this time we we'll take the opportunity to extend my sincere thanks for all the stakeholders including the developers and all the ppcs and manufacturers as well as other organizations in this field to extend all support in the capacity of state utilities so i will be failing in my uh, or my delegation if i am not presenting certain words the mnre they have called us and given an opportunity to shock us in front of all discoms last month actually that opportunity has been given by the last state electricity board to me itself that delegation has been done so they were all when we explain the process the steps which we have taken to promote solar as well as other renewable energy this one it has been accepted and appraised in a really warming manner many questions has been come up in the sectors and the efforts which we are taking about the ekiran portals and other measures and the very well achieved actually this efforts are the whenever they are calling the cd as one among the best utilities in the country each and every appreciation goes to each and every one of you it is not confined to you to be alone KCB or Saura or any other team is not just responsible for the appreciations what we are getting. Again, Uttar Pradesh Sarkar has invited us for a function, and they also has been awarded. The, it has been awarded. The award has been given by the Minister of IT Economics and all from Uttar Pradesh, Chief Secretary, and all 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 all, all other officers has participated. And this was a very proud moment. and even in each and every mnre uh, apprehension is about they are putting up kerala as one of the key utility discoms who has given the entire soul to promote this see what we are doing is that in each and every section 776 sections in kerala state series we do we are just concentrating not only on the other types of power no we are concentrating solely on solar installations itself we are having a very limited roof tops here because you know that the coastal belt as well as the greenish and all taking lot of efforts to implement this but fortunately we have a very 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 warm welcome from the common public to select the developers the saura products as well as the roof top installations you all know that we have a very promising appealing portal called ekira which we have established one one and a half two years back the consumers can just put in log in step in navigate in one which is friendly for the developers the consumers as well as any team who is coming into the the in the portal and you'd be surprised to know that 370 megawatt has been got registered in this portal 
against the allocation of 200 megawatt capacity by MMR. And it is implicit saying that we have a three-tier system. This three-tier system is actually we have an EMC, and management center, we have uh, a nut, we have KCB. Now, all these T three teams are walking together just to see that Kerala should come up with that. But result is being implicit. We have a plan, clear road map. This is our project. Within this time, 2027, we have to add 3,000 megawatt. We have set all measures in position to see that this target must be achieved. So th this has been given equal contribution to EMC as well as ANERT, Mr. Valeri as well as Dr. Of EMC director. Everybody is actually putting their heads together. We are having meetings in front of Chief Secretary and other Jodhra sir who has joined as the Power Secretary and all. Every day in every uh, meetings we are our, our discussions and all this in this line only. So I would like to promise a very promising future, very promising future in this field. And any business enterprise who want to invest in invest uh, in Kerala under the sector, you are all welcome. We have a there is no doubt about it. We now have 3,500 megawatt capacity of the demand. It is linearly increasing. In another, now I said it is about 670 rooftop, rooftop the solar installations. It will be going to 1000 megawatt by another six months, but we have to reach 3000 by the end of five years. We have floating solar options, and as rightly pointed by EQ representatives, actually we have um, the EV vehicles, EV charging scenarios are there. We are setting up EV charging stations throughout. 56,000 members of EV vehicles has already been in Kerala. So we would like to plug this EV mobility as well as solar in such a way that whatever they are producing during time, their time has to be made a fashion in such a way that EV has to be promoted and this power has to be used in saving time. Unfortunately, what we have to see is that the people who are working in Kerala will be using their EV cars charging the peak time. Peak time, peak time actually there is, peak time actually there are certain issues related to that. These are all the problems of utility. The power purchase which we are making, the Kerala state is one of the states. We know that it is not unbundled. Transmission generation and distribution is under one head in one other one and it is being coordinated directly by the government of Kerala itself. So we are struggling much to keep it in such a scenario. Even the state government has given mandate to do bundling and all. But still, there is no distribution company. When I go to Delhi seminars and discussions and all, I could see each state is having different, different tables. Gujarat is having six discounts. Many, many are having six discounts. It's six different travel companies. But here, you know, we are proud to sit in a table alone exclusively, keeping our head high saying that this is still not the government sector. So to keep this under the government sector, to walk along with that, we have to have certain tolerances, which I am not saying in front of my honest, uh, honest audience, what are all the publications we are having. There are lot of economic as well as this one to invite on this and to move forward. But we promise 100% that whatever the economic publications are there, we will be taking all the efforts, we will be making all the Measures in position to see that this will be taken up and our target will be met. Not out of the time by promising that. Again, obligations are there. These obligations have to be met now. I think the discussions in the panel will be having certain topics about obligations and all. Details and we will discuss all that. And the storage system, the energy storage obligations has come. That also will be taken up. Now we have a utility scale battery energy storage system also because no utility or no state cannot. Discuss about something without a storage system now, because whatever we are having in the morning, we have we can use it. But other systems which in the peak demand has to be made somehow. First is more to the lithium ion batteries and all. But fortunately, we will be able to mitigate such issues, which we have to be taken in line with EV charging stations as well, and we have to see how this will be done in the future. 
and you, you might have seen a ship has come first time in India, the hydrogen on board, we were all along with that. And it is, it is fully operated by solar, 35.5 kilowatt battery storage will be done in that. Again, uh, battery, uh, hydrogen generation is done, oxygen which is being generated is thrown up to the air. And this vessel is being fully operated by solar as well as hydrogen itself. So, electricity board is also planning certain private project with hydrogen and then with NDPC in green and profile. Right? So, that also will be coming up. Battery and the storage system has all the tension has been done in the community. That is substitution. That also will be there. I'm not eating a touch of your time. Thank you very much for the ACB, the speakers, as well as the panel discussion. Let us have our journey through the discussions and see how those things can be addressed and can give a good information to the public to navigate through. Uh, for the business as well as the government, I can understand very much.